Swift gets restraining order against a scary stalker. This is a scary story. So there's this guy, his name is Timothy Sweet, and he's been stalking Taylor Swift for quite some time. Apparently, he claims that he's married to her. And if anybody gets in between she and him, he's going to kill them. That's what he said. He berated her with messages, with that very message. And he's visited her L.A. home. He's visited her Nashville home various times when she's working. So she finally has a restraining order against him. And the judge has ordered for him to stay away from her family, her, her jobs, her homes. And up for up to three years, and he has to stay 100 yards away from her. Timothy Sweet. Yeah. Thoughts? Five words or less. Glad she swiftly took action. Yeah. Sweet on Swift, red alert! Her album was red. red. Oh, nice. There you go. Yeah, girl. Um, mm, write a song about it. Yeah, she will. She will. She will. She should. Stay away! It's gonna be the best song ever, too. Mm -hmm. Timothy ain't so sweet. He's not. Uh -huh. no, he's His not. name's Timothy Sweet. Yeah. Um, okay, so, wow, this is a serious topic, yeah. and uh, but we do see this happened from time to time with celebrities and just people in general. Yeah. This happened to Brett recently. Happened to me too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's happened to Bree. So this is a serious topic. How do you think that, that this happens and what are some things that we can do to prevent that from happening or avoid this from happening? Take action immediately. Share do your story everything. if you feel comfortable, maybe just generally. Okay. Uh, I Last year I was sexually, sexually assaulted by my next door neighbor Whoa. and I have not T talked about this before, so this is the first time. Pop Trigger exclusive. Yikes. I was sexually assaulted by my next next door neighbor, and he targeted me. Like he found me on Twitter somehow, and he was like tweeting at me. Yeah. And I don't know how he found me. I never told him my last name or anything. And he was just like he would say stuff like, "Come over and watch a movie with me." And then one day I went outside to walk my dogs, and he heard my door open, and he came out in his underwear. Stuff happened, yeah. and I called the police immediately. And immediately went on Twitter, took a bunch of screenshots of all the things he had sent me. Ten minutes later, he deleted everything on Twitter, but I had it all good, screenshotted. Good. I know because if I didn't have it screenshotted, you I wouldn't have gotten my restraining order. And I had to go to court. I had to take two days, it, like going into court, wait all day long, and I finally got a year restraining order, and I put him in jail for 90 days. Good for you. Yes! yes! God, that is exactly Girl. what you're yeah. supposed yes. to do. Cheesy, crazy. Yeah. And well. we all know you, your story. Brett called his stalker, but um, no, it's great. Nice. So stalker. good. Yes, Just, she is a stalker. I don't know Fisher. if it's a, it's more of a catfish than but a stalker. But then stalk. she knew you were at that premiere that one night. That's yeah, a little but I weird. Don't, I don't consider that okay. stalking. I don't um, want to. But this is very just, scary. Celebrities go through this. So normal people go through this. Have you ever had any encounters? I, I mean, I think you know, but people sometimes will think it's a challenge to um, write you, you know, find where you live and say, you know, oh, I was on your roof. And like, you know, so they'll write you letters at your home address and they think that that's okay. So luckily it's not escalated to anything as, you know, as terrifying as that. But I will say, I don't know if there's anything that any person can do because it, for me, this is often a sign of, mental illness. Absolutely. This is an indication that somebody has yeah. literal problems that you cannot have done anything to have, you know, prevented their actions or in any way circumvented what they end up doing or the attachment that they feel that they formed with you because they saw you one time on a concert and they claim that your eyes met and you're mm -hmm. like, I was looking out at 50,000 people. Also, I can't see past <laughs> Like, the stage. I literally, yeah, you know, but they, for them, Mm -hmm. The connection happened. It was Ugh. like that moment. Brett saw me, so that means he knows me, and it, you know he feels what I feel, and so that that's actually something happening for them that I don't think any celebrity or any per person, regular whatever, yeah. can do anything to prevent. I agree with you. I think there's two different. One being uh, what we're talking about here, and I definitely think they're suffering from some sort of delusion, yeah, some sort of mental be. illness, and for that very reason, if you feel that something is taking over your life compulsively, an obsession, to the point where you're not focusing normally, whether you're noticing it of a family member or whether it's happening to yourself, please get help, get treatment. But also there's those people on the other side that you mentioned that they're just normal people, but maybe they get caught up in the moment and they're like, let's just think this is funny and go to her house and then tweet a picture. That's not okay either. That's not okay, no. that's not okay either. And some people think that's crossing the line as well. And they, and they think that's a part of fandom. Right, no and it's that's not. A, and, it, and expressing their support, it really isn't. Right. And if you look at it from the, the, the other side, meaning somebody you don't know shows up at your house. How would you feel? It's creepy to right. you. 
right. Yeah. You know, and people don't, you know, the, the guy who wrote me like three or four times, he, one of the things he was like, you know, yeah, I know, you, you know, you talk about all these, so you th talk about things I'd mentioned in videos, but it would basically made me even more uncomfortable because it felt, he in his mind felt like he knew me. Right. And I'm like, I'm single, I'm getting my mace gun and I'm gonna I'm a melt your face off. You, yeah. you know, like it was one of those things where it started to freak you out. So I, again, it's not as extreme as either of these right. cases, it's but it's still, still it's, it's still an invasion and it's still right. unwanted and it's still unwarranted. And I so. think, I think uh, crazy fans need to, and I don't, and I don't, I, I don't use that word loosely. Like I'm, I mean, you know, fans that, when you look at like the One Direction, fans yeah. or and I'm not saying everybody but or even Justin Bieber fans they will show up to his house and they will show up in big groups and I think because they're in big groups they think it's okay and right. they're taking pictures and that's not okay no, either there not, has to right, be it's, not, it, it's but there, there's like areas that are sanctioned for you to be a mob and right. that is in front of the stage during At a the concert. concert. The That's problem is, totally is that feels the same right. for a group of people I when know. they're outside someone's house. Yeah, because it's called mob mentality. So you how all do we start talk about not that thinking. distinction? Because we do have a lot of young fans, and I know that our fans are 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 awesome and fantastic. There could be some people within that realm, or maybe they know somebody that maybe would, on the drop of a dime, show up to Justin Bieber's the house. The coolest way to repay, like I think, it comes from a feeling of you, you know, the the celebrities say a Justin Bieber you know, to a fan gives them so much. They're so like, happy. oh, it makes me so happy. Mm -hmm. And you kind of want to connect with that or return the favor. Something you can do is just like write a letter yeah. about how it touched your life or right. how when you were feeling yeah. bad, it made you feel all right. And also, yeah, you are supporting this yeah, fan exactly. back. Or you are supporting this person you're a fan of back by, you know, buying their merchandise and partaking in all that. But what 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 celebrities like are are like just a letter through the proper channel. Right. And that's great. And that I think that's all you can really hope and for. Put things in a healthy perspective in the sense that maybe they shouldn't be your end all be all. I think it's totally healthy and fun to fan out over a celebrity. I do it. I just saw my niece do it at at it was so cool at Disneyland when she saw Minnie and Mickey. It was so cool. But there has to be some perspective where you really look at the grand picture of things and go, okay, yeah, my mom's an, uh, a better role model or this person's a better role model or you know what, it's, I love them but at the same time, like, and would don't you do obsess that to anyone else? Them. Like, right. would you do that to someone who wasn't like, a celebrity? Would right. you show up at their so house? No, that would creep them out. Yeah. And another yeah. quick note about people that have like siblings or family members or friends even, if you start to notice somebody acting obsessively towards other people, maybe they get in trouble for it, you can take action as well. Like you don't feel the need to protect somebody because ultimately in the end, it works out, yeah. you're not helping, you're hurting them. Most likely get them help. I'm sure like get what you stated, help. Shauna, they need help, they need treatment. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, Don't just no keep moving them from place to place. Like, yes. get some help. Good yeah. point. Okay, we're going to leave on that note. What did you guys think about Taylor Swift taking action, swift action, to getting a restraining order on her stalker? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you all next time on Pop Trigger.